Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. Hello and welcome to Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. This is an ongoing social campaign that aims to create awareness about cleanliness in Indian cities and encourage people to actively take part in making their cities clean. At a time when the government's sweat surveillance is underway and cities putting their best foot forward to exhibit their cleanliness quotient, the campaign has synced well with the government's Swachh Bharat Abhiyan too in bringing about a mindset change amongst the citizens towards cleanliness. In this series, our destination today is the second largest city of Maharashtra, Pune. Pune, one of the fastest growing cities of Maharashtra, is the cultural capital of the state. Queen of Deccan, as it is referred to. Also known for its prolific industries and educational institutes, the town is a great place for people to witness the quintessential Maharashtrian culture and the rush of an industrial metropolis. Today, this city with a population of almost 4 million people is fervently working to spruce up its image to show the world its cleanliness quotient. From big corporate houses to primary schools, the spirit of cleanliness is riding high in Pune to make it a model clean and green city of India. First up, this is about a corporate leader in the city of Pune who is showing us the way as to how to keep our cities clean. Today, 40% of Pune is cleaned by this innovative approach, importing world-class equipment and also tools to keep the streets of Pune clean from solid waste and litter. Let's take a look at Adar Purawala's path-breaking clean city initiative. It was Prime Minister Narendra Modi's clarion call to the people of India with the launch of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan to embark on a mass movement to clean India. क्या हमारा देश स्वच्छ नहीं हो सकता है अगर सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासी तय कर ले कि मैं कभी गंदगी नहीं करूंगा तो दुनिया की कौन सी ताकत है जो हमारे शहर गांव को आकर के गंदा कर सके Pune is one city that is setting an example for Swachh Bharat with the efforts of Adar Punawala and his Clean City Initiative Adar Punawala is the CEO of Serum Institute of India. This initiative is an environmentally sustainable initiative undertaken by Adar Punawala to contribute towards social awareness and cleanliness. Well, as a proud Indian, I wanted to make a change. I wanted India also to be healthy and clean uh, and environmentally friendly like uh, Europe and um, uh, the rest of the world. And uh, that's when uh, going for a walk one day in my neighborhood, I decided to make a change. I decided to pick up the waste through our trucks in our neighborhood, and then we went uh, all through the city. With an investment of 100 crore rupees, which is way beyond the company's CSR budget, the initiative has got 170 trucks and cleaning machines, which are backed by 300 employees to manage its activities. The clean-up drive covers more than 800 kilometers of roads in Pune. To effectively tackle the garbage problems in the city, Adar has imported superior cleaning technologies from a few developed countries. We imported uh, the glutton, which is what you see on the footpaths and streets, which is an electric vacuuming machine, and also trilos which are mounted on Tata Ace trucks. And uh, this is from Belgium and Holland, which was never existing in India. And without these equipments, you really can't pick up the waste in the way that we do and in the speed that we do. With technology on ground, the initiative has also developed an app which can be used to report unpicked garbage in the city. Earlier I used to see a lot of garbage on street but I was helpless. Recently I came across a, 
app, my FCC mobile application. It's so easy to use. You just need to uh, download it from Play Store. Then you just open it. There is an option to report garbage. You, I just, you just click a photo and then uh, your garbage is reported. Within next 8 or 10 hours or maximum 24 hours, that place is clean and then you get a message back that uh, your garbage is clean. Lauded for this initiative, Adar was nominated as the brand ambassador of Swachh Bharat by the Prime Minister of India. The citizens of Pune are also testament to his efforts, commitment and the result of this initiative. I can say there's a lot of difference which is happening right now. Previously, a uh, lot of garbage was lying around here and there. But with this awareness, people have realized the civic sense, coming forward, taking responsibility as well. So, great initiative and I think uh, going forward, we are spreading this good message across and people are coming forward and contributing as well. While Adar Poonawala's Clean City Initiative is bringing about a visible change in the city, he firmly believes that it is the people's participation that can make the real difference. No amount of trucks and machines in any country can pick up the waste at the speed at which people throw it unless people change their mindset and dispose of their waste in the areas that they're supposed to. The initiative's long-term goal is to ensure that more and more cities adopt this model to make urban India become cleaner, greener and healthier. There you go, that was Adar Poonawala's Clean City Initiative, a model that can be very well replicated in other cities too. Hope we will have more of these innovative ventures to keep our cities neat and hygienic. Our next story is of a self-sustainable social enterprise that is empowering the frontline waste collectors and pickers and giving them a life of dignity. Take a look at the model of Swatch. Every day, hundreds and thousands of sanitary pads and diapers make their way from households to garbage bins and landfills all over India. Unmarked and unsegregated, these are major health hazards, even for the waste pickers who have to deal with them. But Swatch, a Pune-based cooperative of self-employed waste pickers, is changing this dangerous trend with its Red Dot campaign. A campaign that emphasizes on the importance of disposing sanitary waste in a defined pattern. Diapers and sanitary pads, which have to be wrapped and labeled with a red dot and then given to the waste picker. In order to propagate the message and create awareness about this, sessions are also held in schools to sensitize girls about proper implementation of the action plan for disposal of sanitary pads. <laughs> The scope of SWAT's activities goes beyond the Red Dot campaign. Started in the year 2005 as a pilot project in association with Pune Municipal Corporation, SWAT has been working towards the door-to-door -to -door collection, segregation and recycling of waste through its dedicated team of waste collectors and rag pickers. SWAT is an organization of waste pickers. Uh, it is a collective, uh, it is a cooperative uh, business uh, wherein every waste picker is the owner of the business. Uh, we have currently over 2,900 waste pickers in Pune who collect, who collect more than uh, 900 tons of waste every day. It's uh, a model where uh, you know rag pickers who essentially were in this business of waste uh, collection but in a very very disaggregated manner and a very crude manner have come together in a cooperative and then it brings them a sense of uh, dignity, it brings them a sense of livelihood. The second thing is of course city gets a good dedicated uh, waste management service, house to house collection of waste, which is the first step on waste management in the city in a very efficient and cost effective manner. So they have two streams of income. One is the user fees which every individual or uh, every household pays them. Otherwise there is also the income from the recyclables uh, like plastic, paper and stuff like that. Every citizen should be aware that we are actually the ones creating the waste and since it is uh, we who create it, we are also responsible to take care of it. Whichever way we do it, we should not litter, we should give the waste to the right people who will recycle it into the right way. With more than 2,900 waste pickers engaged in its activities, Swatch is not only providing dignity to waste collectors through its model, but also paving the way for a better living too.
Coast Watch, living up to its name with its innovative waste collection and segregation model. It's time for a break now, but when we come back, we show you few vivacious young boys and young girls taking the mantle of sprucing up Pune, a van that processes wet waste at the collection site only, and later, a township in the city that has equipped itself with innovative waste management system to ensure clean and better surrounding. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back very shortly. Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. Welcome back to Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. Today we're in Pune showcasing some interesting and very incredible work done by citizens and groups to keep the city clean, green and also hygienic. Swachh Pune, Swachh Bharat. It is another initiative in Pune city where a group of young boys and girls beautify the walls and buildings of the city in a jiffy. Take a look. An appeal to make our roads clean. An appeal to make our environment green. These are the volunteers of Swachh Pune, Swachh Bharat who assemble every weekend at various bus stations of Pune city to sensitize commuters about keeping the surroundings clean en route to their destinations. You know, most of the places we find people littering, throwing objects outside uh, the buses they travel in. And lately, in last about three weeks back only, we started the campaign wherein young volunteers so requesting them to, you know, uh, refrain from littering the bus and refrain from throwing anything outside the bus. Swachh Pune Swachh Bharat was started as a volunteer work by retired Wing Commander Puneet Sharma in the year 2014 as a self-cleanup drive initiative. But soon, the cause picked up momentum once the initiative went viral on the social media page. It created quite a stir among Puneites. Entire uh, group came into being through a Facebook post asking my fellow citizens to join me to support this great initiative. Initially, it was only about six, seven of us. We slowly and steadily started observing the public properties, especially the government buildings, the walls, which were pan stained, you know, all, all that thing, we started cleaning them up. And then to deter people for spoiling it again, we started uh, with the idea of beautifying them and beautification of Magarpata flyover. We're in 26 pillars in a period of about three months, we painted all of them the Barley Yard, which is the famous art form of Maharashtra. From flash mobs that ignite a call for action among citizens to beautification of various city walls and buildings, this group is leaving no stone unturned to revamp the image of the city. One of the campaigns is the Poster Hatao campaign. Every Sunday morning, 7 to 9, we pick up a spot where there are so much of litter or say, you know, posters, and we go and clean them up. Basically, use a scrapper. And uh, there are times where it becomes hard stuck over there. So we actually spray water, allow it for some time and then remove the posters. Awareness drives, action that speaks louder than words. The campaign by Swachh Pune Swachh Bharat is expanding and indeed is transforming the city like never before. Our next story is of a company that collects, segregates and processes bulk waste right on the site. Let us see how Moby Trash stands true to its name. Till some time back, Pune was fighting with its surging consumerism and expansion with the problem of solid waste disposal reaching monstrous proportions. In fact, in 2015, the Pune Municipal Corporation passed an order for the residential societies to find ways to manage wet waste on their own. This led to the authorities of many housing societies to look for a sustainable solution. So I visited exhibition. So there I find so I found so many other alternatives. But uh, one thing, movie thrash, is a very good concept. Moby Trash was the obvious choice to manage huge amounts of solid waste generated by the societies every day. 
So Mobi Trash is extremely affordable. The cost of Mobi Trash to come and serve a household for one entire month on your premise every single day would be less than the cost of coffee from your favorite cafe. Mobi Trash stands true to its name. It is a mobile van that travels to different locations to collect and process the garbage in less than an hour. Equipped with advanced machines, the Mobi Trash truck is virtually a waste management unit that packs in a processing unit along with two waste handlers on board to segregate and process the collected wet waste in a systematic and efficient manner. Once you sign up, it's very easy. All we ask is that the customer gives us segregated waste at a designated spot within the premises. The Mobi Trash truck will come into the premises every single day. It will treat the waste on the premises of the customer and convert the, the waste into uh, raw compost which is, does not have any smell, it does not look like it is waste, it looks transformed into raw compost and it is very easy to manage because there is free flowing material as opposed to sticky organic kitchen waste that we have. Mobi Trash especially caters to bulk waste generators in the city of Pune be it corporate offices, residential complexes, restaurants, educational institutes or factories and industries. Marzorin is one such restaurant that needed service to handle its high volume of wet waste. When we heard about Mobi Trash we tried on-site com composting, we, we looked you up and we, we, we started a standard monthly contract with you where your a van would come, pick up our wet, uh, wet waste, process it and therefore we would not have any, we managed to maintain a 100% uh, wet waste management recycling system. With more than 2 lakh kilos of wet waste already treated, running on the streets of Pune is this game-changing concept that provides a hassle-free solution to address the crisis of garbage in the city. As affordable as it can get, that is Moby Trash for you. Our last story is about a township in Pune that is setting an example to manage waste generated by it in a very sustainable manner. Let's get to know more about Nandet City and its cleanup and waste management tribe. Pune is a fast-growing metropolitan and the city's main river, Mutha, has paid a heavy price for the changing landscape of the city. The riverbank has become a dumping ground for garbage, posing a serious health risk to school children and people in surrounding areas, especially for the Nandit city that is located on the banks of the river. Garbage is area mein dump kiya hua tha, aur is dumping se logon ke bahut hanikarak tha, logon ko bimari ho rati, iske liye Nandit city ne इनिशिएटिव लेके ये साफ करने का मुहिम शुरू किया है The authorities from Nandir city took the matter into their hands and started a campaign to clean up the riverbed and have also revived stream of the river that flows within the property. This innovative drive has not only given a new lease of life to the river but also to the residents who can now breathe fresh air with a clean environment around. About uh, 2000 uh, metric tons garbage yahan se hum shift kar rahe the authorities of Nandir city also initiated a waste management program in the township which involves proper segregation of waste and its disposal. The township is on its way to become a self-sustainable city with some ingenious inventions. We have always tried to have a you know, very sustainable development in terms of greenery as well as our mass waste management. The way we do it is we try to have closed cycles. A closed cycle means uh, managing the garbage at the source, uh, using it to produce uh, gas and compost and then again using that uh, gas and compost in our day-to-day -day activity. The waste collected from the township is optimally utilized. The dry waste is sent for recycling, whereas the wet waste goes through a digestion process that produces biogas. The gas is then stored in tanks and is later used to generate electricity to light up the public areas of the township. 
The gas is used to generate electricity by using uh, gas generators and the compost is used in the uh, landscaping area, in the garden. When the resident takes his uh, possession of the plant, he is instructed on these things that uh, it's mandatory to segregate the garbage and uh, now it has become a way of life for all our residents. By meticulously managing its waste, Nandir city in Pune is setting an example for other townships to follow suit and learn the art of keeping residential societies clean. The heroes of Nandir city and their tireless endeavor bearing fruits of success. With this episode, we have come to the end of India Hoga Clean Feature Series. It has been an exciting and a very stupendous journey traveling through the cities of India and watch these passionate citizens all eager to make their cities beautiful and clean. Kudos to all of them. We're sure that these stories have also inspired you to contribute to this national cause. Keep the momentum going by joining us on hashtag India Clean and make Swaj Bharat a reality. Network 18 presents India Hoga Clean. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.